Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit today into your hand as we are going to share the prophecy for the redeemed Christian Church of God. Lord, minister to souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I have, a, I have some prophecies from the Lord for redeemed Christian Church of God. Now the Lord gave me a message from the book of 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19. This message was given to me to deliver to redeem Christian Church of God. By the grace of God, we are all one body. We are one body. We are one in Christ. We are all pursuing the kingdom of God. Our, our highest heart desire is to make heaven at last. And that is why we are here on earth. Now I want to, before I start this prophecy, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate God for our daddy E.A. Adeboye who has been a father to me, a father to many of us. We have been blessed through his ministration. He has been a prolific teacher, a teacher that God has sent to this generation, a lover of souls. God has used him mightily to preach salvation. I have been opportune to listen to some of his ministration and I have been blessed. Thank God for the work he's doing in Redeem Christian Church of God. But this message was given to me severally, and I need to deliver this message. God gave me this message from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knows them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. The Lord said to me that I should deliver this message to redeem Christian Church of God. The Lord said he has seen the hypocrisy of some of the leaders, pastors in redeemed Christian Church of God. He has seen their perpetual sin. He has seen their iniquities. And the Lord said that let everyone among you that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Because he told me, he said, Judgment is coming for the leadership of redeemed Christian Church of God who continue in perpetual sin, in hypocrisy. Specifically, the Lord spoke about hypocrisy, mechanical life. The life you live in secret is different from the life you preach. You preach and then you go in secret and live a different life. God is seeing you. And God is telling me to tell you, if you're a pastor, a minister, in redeemed Christian Church of God, this prophecy is for you. That judgment is coming. The Lord said specifically, 2023, there is going to be judgment upon the leadership of redeemed Christian Church of God who continue in perpetual sin, who continue in the sin of hypocrisy. The Lord said, those pastors are found wanting. They are found wanting. When they are found wanting and they continue like that, he said, he's going to judge. God is going to judge. So this 2022, grace is given to every one of them that are involved in any type of sin. Immorality, sin of stealing from the church purse, Nobody see you, but God is seeing you. Sin of hypocrisy, gossip, whatever sin. I don't know God, but God specifically mentioned hypocrisy and perpetual sin, iniquity, sin. Whichever sin 
iniquity, hypocrisy that you are involving. Opportunity is given to you to come back to the cross. Come back to Calvary. Come back to Calvary. Now, these are the specific prophecies that are given to me to redeem Christian Church of God. Number one, the Lord said, 2023 is the set time to judge leaders who are involved in perpetual sin and iniquity. Number two, the Lord said that many who take the Lord's Supper unworthily shall sleep. The Lord said, many who take the, Lord, the Lord's Supper unworthily shall sleep. So this one is not pertaining to leadership alone. If you are a saved soul, you are a redeemed soul, and you are taking the Holy Communion unworthily, you are destroying yourself. The consequence is death. Is death. Then number three, the Lord said that most leadership in redeemed Christian Church of God, I mean the pastors and the ministers, are not performing their office of priesthood. They are not performing their priesthood office. It is your duty to pray for your leaders. It is your duty to pray for the general overseer. The general overseer is a man of God, which I know, and he has a lot of challenges, a lot of work to do. He has brought a lot of change. He has done a lot of things in the kingdom. It is the duty of pastor to pray for their leaders. That's one of the duty of, a, of one of the function or performance of the priesthood office is to pray for leaders. To pray for leaders. At a time you will say, Peter will say, pray for us. Pray for me. You know, that kind of prayer. You see it in the Bible. They will pray for Paul. They will pray for... You see, they pray. But what the Lord told me is that the, 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 the leadership, the pastors, the ministers, they are not spending time to pray for their, for their general overseer and other leaders, the national uh, leader, whichever leader that you know is on the uh, realm of uh, administration. You need prayer. My brother, they need prayer. Not only uh, Gio pray for us, uh, Daddy pray for us. Daddy is praying. Daddy is praying. You too need to pray for Daddy because Daddy is spiritual, but he, he is putting on the flesh. He needs prayer. May God help you as you obey in Jesus' name. The fourth one is this. The Lord said that we should pray for Pastor E. A. Adeboye. The truth is that I saw death loom around him around his family, not him personally, but around the family. I saw death room around the family, the wife, the son. But by the name of Jesus, the Bible says every knee shall bow. We, we, we are going to reverse that negative prophecy. It is a revelation that God wants us to reverse. We have to pray for him concerning this issue of death. That I saw. And secondly, I saw a vision where he became old and he was lonely and he, there was no respect. That is not the will of God at all. It will not happen in Jesus' name. We are going to pray that God, we are going to pray now for redeemed Christian Church of God. You bow down your heads as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all the ministers, all the pastors that I redeem Christian Church of God, that whatsoever sin, besetting sin, that is tying them down, those besetting sin be loose in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for, for those that are taking the, the Holy Communion unworthily, that you will show them mercy. You will show them mercy, that they will come back to Christ and they will be saved in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for the general overseer, Whatever that is bringing in a loophole, whatever causing, uh, they want to cause sorrow for him, I pray in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will flush it away. Father, you will open his eyes and those things will be flushed away in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for the church that your spirit will abide in the redeemed Christian church of God. Your fire will come down afresh 
a redeemed Christian Church of God. Your fire will come upon the general overseer afresh in redeemed Christian Church of God. There shall be transformation. There shall be changes. There shall be peace. Peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's the word of the Lord. I will share this vision, um, this um, prophecy. Share it. You know, subscribe to this channel. As you share, as, as you share, uh, you subscribe, you share, the Lord will bless you. Comment. The Lord wants to do a new thing. Revival is coming. And revival will come to redeem Christian Church of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.